it was such a high, uh, the everybody was so high, you know, um, so much so that uh, when I finished, I said good night, I ran off, the whole field started running after me. And then that's where I discovered my mole was gone. Someone had taken my mole. What is the impact that Gurmit Singh has had on our relationship with our neighbours across the border? In this video, Gurmit shares a lesser-known story of one time he was sent across the causeway upon instruction from the Prime Minister's office. So back to PCK, you yeah. shared in your book, right, how you, at the point when Singapore and Malaysia were having tensions over the cost <laughs> of the water pricing, yeah. and the government appointed you yes. in PCK character <laughs> to be a sort of peacemaker. Could you please share, just talk about that? Uh, we were doing our season, I don't know which season of PCK. And then one day while we were rehearsing, we get a letter and the producer brings into the rehearsals and says, this is a letter from Prime Minister's office saying that we, our ministers will be over at Johor Bahru where they're having a huge concert and the Hari Raya and Chinese New Year cel cel uh, celebrations are being held at the same time. Uh, can PCK come over? And somehow, broach the subject about the water tension and somehow <laughs> bring, uh, subside this tension uh, and, and so that our ministers, after that, can talk to their counterparts and come to an agreement amicably. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? And the day was a Friday. Friday is our recording day. So usually we have by 7.30 uh, live audience coming in, but we cancel that. Because once we uh, recorded everything for the day, at about, uh, I think it was 6 o'clock, uh, I had to leave. Now, the problem was that then I was still in my PCK get-up. My passport is Gurmit Singh. Yeah. This face is PCK. Problem. So a Prime Minister's office sent a letter. <laughs> As I approached the custom officers, I gave them my letter and it stated there that this is indeed Gurmit Singh. He's dressed as Portugal. Yes, let him through. Yeah. And <laughs> I could tell the uh, custom officer was like trying to keep a straight face. Like, oh, you know, <laughs> but he was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and went to the uh, JB side and, and, and they looked at it as well. And there, there were um, some traffic police yeah. on Chopper. And, and then they cut through traffic. They stopped traffic, dropped traffic lights, everything, and got me to, to there. Um, until this point, I still don't know what I was going to do. All I knew was that I was going to go up there, have some fun, and sing one song, Stand By Me. I thought that would be a good song. Uh, you know, uh, so thank you for supporting me, kind of thing. Um, as I got up there, I banter, I talk, it started to rain. And I thought, that's it, you know, my chance for helping the government is lost because people will run away, right? But they didn't. And it was a drizzle, it was rain, rain. And I was so touched, you know, forget about the water tension thing, but these guys are in the rain and they still want to be there for me on stage. Mm. So as PCK, I told them, I said, wow, raining also, you're still here. You know, I'm very touched, I'm very touched. Touch here, touch there, everywhere touch there. So I tell you what, I was, you, 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 you support me, I support you also. So what I did was then I stood out of my tentage of stage and I went onto one of the speakers, the bass speakers, and I got totally drenched. And they got, whoa, yeah. and I said, I said, this is the way now. Nah. You support me, I support you. We're like brother and sister, you know, because water or no water, also we must support each other. Suddenly, all this speech came. I don't know what I said, nah, but I talked about how water is secondary. What is important is our relationship. Mm. That you and I are almost like brother and sister, you know, mm. and we should help out each other. Nah. Mm. And I sang the song Stand By Me. And when I was done, if I had said, elect me as prime minister, they would have. Because <laughs> they, were, they were this high. It was such a high, uh, everybody was so high, you know. Um, so much so that uh, when I finished, I said goodnight, I ran off, the whole field started running after me. Wow. So we ran into the, 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 the bus and then all muddy and everything. Uh, luckily, I wear boots so I could run through the mud. Yeah. And then that's where I discovered my mole was gone. Someone had taken my mole, <laughs> uh, stretched my face, and then we went off. And uh, ministers later said, very good, thank you very much. Everything was you know, a bit more like heightened then, mm -hmm. and you helped us. Yeah. Did you ever Scary. foresee? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever foresee ever being in such a position where you have so much influence? No, no, not at all. Yeah, it was not, really powerful not. when I read it. I was like, wow. Yeah. It was like there's 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 influence that you've um, sort of acquired from years of hard work as a character, and now you're using it for 
like, national purposes for, know, like, right? for good. Yeah, yeah, that was became, really powerful. I became the ambassador for that. That's right, SPCK. As, yeah, fifteen minute ambassador. <laughs> yeah, that was that really like blew my mind. Um, but I think that story mm. really demonstrates like real influence. Mm.